about the church. Can you tell us your name and how old you are? Uh, my name is William. I'm 14 years old. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's go. So the first part is to introduce yourself, but by talking about three habits you used to have and then three habits that you have now. Ready? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I used to have some bad habits like um, eating junk food when I was a child, mm -hmm. chewing my pants in the class, mm -hmm. and biting my nails. Okay. Uh, I don't use these things anymore because I have some better habits like helping my parents, yeah. uh, washing the dishes after a meal, yeah. uh, cooking for my family, yeah. and do the laundry. Very, very nice. Alright, part two here yeah, is all about movies. So in part one, you need to think of some names of some different films that made you feel different types of ways, basically. Can you think of a film you've seen which was really funny to you? The film which was incredibly funny is Minion. Yeah, yeah cool. Is there a film you've seen that made you feel good? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, Do you know the name of that film? Um, the film which made me feel good is Boss Baby. Cool. And have you ever watched a film that had a very sad ending? Oh, yes. Um, the Finch, which had a very sad ending, yes. The Avenger Endgame. Yeah, that's, I did have a very sad ending, actually. Yeah. Do you prefer watching films at home or in the cinema? Um, I prefer seeing films at home okay. because it don't cost too much money. True. Um, it's more comfortable than seeing films in the cinema. Mm -hmm. and yeah, that's it. Yeah, you can also pause it and stuff like that, which I agree with. Yeah. Do you prefer watching American films, other foreign films, or Vietnamese films? Mm -hmm. I prefer American films because it's have the, like high quality films, mm -hmm. and, but it costs too much money to watch the film. Sure. And do you, when you watch foreign films, do you prefer to watch them dubbed or with subtitles? I prefer to say for dub okay. because I want to hear the original language okay. to practice my English. Yes. Okay, and last part is to think of a really good film you've seen this year. Have you watched a good film this year? Yeah. Okay, and what is the name of that film? Uh, a really good film I have seen this year is John Wick. John Wick, cool. And do you know what kind of film that is? Um, the kind of film is action film. Cool. Is it based on a book or a real event? Mm, it is a based book on a real event. Okay, do you know where or when the film is set? The film is set in the future. Okay, and is it set in a place, a real place, like America or England? Yeah, it's set in uh, America. Okay. Yes. Cool. Do you know anyone who's in it? Any famous actors? Yeah, the actors is, I think, John Wick is. Keanu Reeves yeah. and the film John Reeves is directed by um, Charles Stahelski. Very nice. Does it have a good plot? Yeah, the plot is talk about the legendary assassin John Wick is retired from his violent career right. after marrying the love of his wife, but she sudden death leave John in deep money. Uh, when the scientists monsters, the low self Tarasov and his thugs steal his prize's car yeah. and kill the puppy. That was the last gift from his wife. Right, so his wife died and then they killed his dog. Yeah. And that made him go back to killing people again. Yeah. I've never seen it. That sounds good. I'll watch it. That's the end of that part. This one is using modals of deduction, may, might, must, and could to talk about two different pictures. All right. This one on the left, can you deduce what might, may, or could be happening here? Mm. In the picture one, I can see a man mm. is on a train. Mm. He could be on the subway in New York or on an LA metro. Mm. He is sitting with a monster. Mm. They could be friends because the monster is drinking his coffee. Mm. He is wearing the 
cash flow close so he can be uh, going to work mm -hmm. and he might be like on the way to home. Yeah, fair enough. And on the right here, can you make some deductions about this photo? Um, on the big, oh, sorry, in the, in the big tattoo, um, there are two or uh, walking together. Mm, I think they might be walking in the park because behind them there are some trees and some grass under them. Mm -hmm. And they have uh, the same hair color, so they might be the sister. Mm -hmm. And uh, the girl has the long hair, looks like she is very angry. Mm -hmm. She might be like have some bad mark in the final exam, something. Mm -hmm. And the girl has the short hair. She is like holding her fleece. Mm -hmm. So she might be walking with the dog. Yeah, I agree. Very nice one. Uh, it is talking about judgment and how you judge people. So, how do you judge someone based on how they look or how they dress? Um, I usually judge somebody in dress sense. Okay. Yeah. For example, um, when I see a person wearing their vest, okay. um, uh, when driving their Lamborghini, okay, right. and either some expensive things on your hand, yeah. I thought that they, he is a rich person okay. and have a lot of money. Yeah. That's it. Okay. And has there ever been a time where you judged somebody but you were wrong about that person? Yeah. Um, when I was walking the street, mm -hmm. I saw uh, two, two people that uh, they were talking, talking together and they were all wearing the dirty uh, clothes and say it smell very bad. Okay. I thought that they were the homeless people, okay. but I was wrong. Okay, so they weren't homeless? Yeah. Okay, how did you find out that they weren't homeless? Um, they were, uh, went to a shop yeah. and they buy a pen. Right. And the pen is, was very expensive. Wow, okay, interesting. Um, the last part here is all about politeness and asking for things. If you needed someone to do you a huge or a very big favor, how would you ask them or what words would you use to be polite when asking them? Mm -hmm. I was asked like, do you mind? Yeah, it's okay. And let's think of something smaller. If you were just asking for something politely at a dinner table or with friends, how would you ask them to do something? Uh, could you bring my umbrella for me? Yeah, that's something. Yeah, very nice. That's the end of your test. Pretty great. What? High five. Oh.